What's up guys? I'm out here putting my brakes on today. I got the 99 spindles and PVR calipers, all this. I just got the spindles off of 99. I did notice a little bit of difference between the spindles. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so here's what I've discovered. Check this out. See the difference between here and here, or actually from the mounting surface to the first hole. There's an inch difference. So, basically give you an inch drop, looks like. Which is not bad. But I can, I'll just have to readjust my coilovers though. But I think that's gonna be all right. It'll give me a little bit more suspension movement in my coilover, which I still have plenty right now, but that's just some information I didn't realize. I thought I read that they're a little, little uh, shorter, but that's cool. But every time I, the kick up versus the straight, I had SVO spindles on mine. And they don't look that different steering wise, if you look at it right there. They're both pretty straight. So I don't think I'm gonna have a big issue there. I did get spacers to put to change that because I didn't change the ball joints because mom are relatively new when I put the UPR suspension on there. So that's just uh, something that I saw. I'll figure I'd share with you guys. I got them on. I don't know how the light is. That should be better. Got the brakes on. Here, check it out. I could I had SVO spindles on my car and I mod I used the lines off of them it just had a little lip I had to trim off and just uh, file the edge a little bit I was able to use my brake lines I had already from the SVO spindles so that worked out good and have to do that uh, other than that it was pretty straightforward just bolted them up for mine, I'll have to adjust the ride height after I get it back on the ground. I still got to bleed them once my wife gets home. But anyway, we're good to go. I'll see you guys next time, and I'm out of here.